Hello! Hello! Uh, Maureen suggested that we... Uh, you might want to put your head up a bit. We do. <laughs> Maureen suggested that we do it sitting down. And it's really working for us. Well, because basically... Oh, that's better. We're trying to get it so we look better than we do. I look so awful at the moment. I'm so tired. <laughs> I am aware of how I look. I don't need to think. I'm like, this is... Um, <laughs> I look amazing. Uh, look at my eyes. I'm so tired. And they've got smaller. This is how my oh, eyes look. I've got look. small eyes anyway, even when I'm awake. Have you? Yeah, I've got very small eyes. There's two middle-aged women with very small <laughs> eyes who decided that it was a really good idea to video themselves. <laughs> And put it, put it on the internet. <laughs> how, are, how are we looking? Awful. <laughs> Absolutely We're dreadful. people hope. And so we thought if we sat on the ah, floor, it would look... that? Yeah, it's a, I've got someone else's head growing on my chin. It's a palook, as, we, as my family would say. It's a spot. It, it's looking good, it's, though. I don't think it's just your family that would say that. More. A palook. Oh, a palook, maybe, yeah. It's 1960s Londonian. <sighs> so we, we basically sit on the floor. Well, I won't be able to get back up, but in a hope that, you know, it makes us look... That was the plan. I don't even think it's worked out. I want you to know that I wouldn't have chosen those pictures. <laughs> I can't see them because I've taken off my glasses, but... Uh, those were... I didn't choose those. Who were those? Was that Chloe? Chloe's parents. Oh, okay. Yeah. And they've done this thing where they've got books on the shelf but, and they've colour coordinated it. Is that a thing? How do you not know that thing? That's an actual thing. What, you colour coordinate Yeah, your books? you put your books and then you, you don't do it, you don't ever put your books in order where you go, okay, so these are, this is fiction, this is non-fiction. That's what I do. Uh, and this is, you know, cooking. And I put them in alphabetical order as Yeah, well. of course. So then you'd be like, oh, I'd like to find that book with, no, what you do is you go, oh, I want to read that book. What, what colour is it? <laughs> what colour was that book? And you'll find it's a much more practical way. I've got cleaners in. How middle I'm getting middle class, aren't I? I don't know how you cope with that. I don't. Well, you know, Do you have to leave the house when they get in, when they come no. in? No, I just change. I move room, don't I? As they come into, mm. spend, they spend a lot of time in the kitchen, weirdly. But um, because I was just saying, I didn't realise that my weird. oven, you can actually see through the glass now. Yeah, that's normal, Maureen. <laughs> I didn't know. Maureen didn't realise that the glass <laughs> in the oven was, was see through. See through, so you could see what was happening yeah, inside the so oven. That's happened. And then when that got cleaned, you must that must have been a revelation to it you. It was a bit, and also I didn't realise that the, the it was silver. The I don't think you should reveal much more. Okay, perhaps I should not speak about no, that. It's, it's, I don't think it's a good idea. So yeah, the first time they came round, they were there for quite a long time. Mm. Oh, I'm going to Edinburgh Festival. Yes, I'm not. What's what's that? No, because you're going to Edinburgh. Oh right. Nobody does that because they're going to Edinburgh. Everyone's like that. <laughs> no, new comics. Oh new comics are really enthusiastic oh, and think it's going to be great. And they're going to, it's going to like oh, no, launch I... their careers. Oh yeah, I think that. Yeah, it's really funny when you see new comics. Oh, I definitely really enthusiastic. This will, then... this will be my year. <laughs> no chance, mate. I remember going through the meadows. This is a big field in field park, whatever it is in in Edinburgh, and you were just moaning about your your show the whole way and I was just in hysterics. It was, it was 2012. Yeah, what was it? It what was, was during it? Uh, Now and Then. Oh yeah. Uh, which only got good after I left Edinburgh. <laughs> it wasn't very good. It's kind of a different way of doing it because most people try and get it to be good before they I was Edinburgh. trying to get it good. <laughs> just was about three months after I left I, I looked through it again and went oh no, I know what to do and then I got rid of all the stuff that was rubbish. But um, anyway, was... uh, nobody came. To see that show. I think, but I came I think and watched and I was in hysterics. You came. But I was laughing probably at the wrong bits. <laughs> you were laughing at the fact that there was you and two other people in the room. <laughs> That's not a joke. There was three people. <laughs> Susie Ruffle came when there was three people. You came when there was four. Maybe. I think there was seven actually. Oh, was it seven? Yeah, it was seven. Oh, it was that, one must of the, have, that must have been a good night then. Enough. Mind you, I think most of them were your, your mates. <laughs> or angry lesbians. <laughs> Faces like that the whole way through, no laughter, and at the end, we'll, and then at the end, they come up to you and go, "I really enjoyed it." You like, <laughs> please tell your face next time because I didn't know that. But it was, yeah, it was interesting. At the end, I had to come on with red tights. Do you remember? Oh yes, I do. Still have flashbacks. <laughs> that was a dark. 